And now, a five-minute update on the peaceful evolution happening around the globe. I'm Agent Derek J. For FR33Agents.com. worship 24 hours a day. Year old monk identified as Nang Day, over 1,000 Tibetans protest Sunday, and the government denies it happened. But first, a message that's important for all of us. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom. that's important for all of us. ...that's important for all of us. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom. Become a free agent and take it back. Google FR33 to get connected with other men and women around the globe who... with FR33 gear. You can directly invest in the projects you care about right now so that free agents can get the valuable support they need. States are going to fail. So That's FR33agents.com. Now for the news. The International Campaign for Tibet
And where did you grow up? Here in Los Angeles until Pearl Harbor. And then, as I think you know, uh, Japanese Americans on the West Coast were summarily rounded up and uh, sent into uh, 10 barbed wire internment camps. Uh, I was uh, four at the time of uh, Pearl Harbor, and I was too young to really understand what was going on. But I still do remember that day uh, when uh, armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. I remember that as a very scary day. And, you know, a child can sense. And then, as I think you know, uh, Japanese Americans on the West Coast. But I still do remember. Japanese Americans on the West Coast were summarily rounded up and uh, sent into uh, 10 barbed wire internment camps. Uh, but I still do remember that day uh, when uh, armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. I remember that as Japanese. A very scary day. I remember that as a very scary day. Sense your parents' anxieties. And we were taken from our home to um, a horse table in, uh, uh, at uh, San Anita Racetrack. And we were taken from our home to um, a horse table in, uh, and we were taken. Bayonets on them came to our home to order us out. I remember that as a very scary day. And we were taken from our home to, um, a horse table. Where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built.
built, we put on a train and taken all the way across the uh, southwestern desert to was built. while the camps were being built uh, at uh, San Anita Racetrack, where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built. And uh, when the camp was built, we were put on a train and taken all the way across the uh, southwestern desert to the swamps of Arkansas, a camp called Roller. And I grew up uh, there for a portion of the war. And then we were transferred from that camp to another camp in Northern California called Tutti Lake, which was an even more uh, harsh uh, camp. There were three barbed wire, uh, three levels of barbed wire fence and tanks patrolling the per uh, perimeter. And uh, after the war, we came back home to Los Angeles. Now, why were you transferred from Camp Roar to Camp Tutti Lake? Yes, there's a, um, a dark chapter of American history in that. Um, Immigrants coming to the United States could all aspire to someday becoming natural. Yes, there's a, um, a dark chapter of American history in that. Sanity to racetrack where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built. And uh, when the camp was built, we were put on a train and taken all the way across the uh, southwestern desert to all the way across the uh, southwestern desert to the swamps of Arkansas, a camp called California, there for a portion of the war called Roller, and I grew up in of Arkansas. And then we were transferred from that camp to another camp in Northern California called Tutti Lake, which was an even more uh, which was a um, harsh uh, camp. There were three barbed wire, uh, even more, uh, all the way across the uh, more uh, harsh uh, camp. There were three barbed wire, uh, three levels of barbed wire fence and tanks patrolling the per uh, perimeter. And uh, after the war, we came back home to Los Angeles. Japanese Americans on the West Coast were summarily rounded up and uh, sent into uh, 10 barbed wire internment camps. Uh, but I still do remember that day uh, when uh, armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. I remember that as a very scary day. And we were taken from our home to um, 
a horse stable where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built. And uh, when the camp was built, we were put on a train and taken to the swamps of Arkansas. And then we were transferred from that camp to another camp in Northern California, which was an even more uh, harsh uh, camp. There were three barbed wire, uh, three levels of barbed wire fence and tanks patrolling the peri uh, perimeter. Yes, there's a, um, a dark chapter of American history in that. barbed wire internment camps. Uh, uh, camps. Uh, but I still do remember that day uh, when uh, armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. I remember that as a very scary day. And we were taken from our home to um, a horse table in where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built. A horse table. It were a table where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built. Built. And uh, when the camp was built, we were put on a train and taken to the swamps of Arkansas. And then we were transferred from that camp to another camp in Northern California, which was an even more uh, harsh uh, camp. There were three barbed the day and cutting phone and internet communications for some in the region in an effort to control the individuals who live free. About right now so that free Now, Agent Tally TV reports for a segment called Some were given just 48 hours to pack up and leave their homes. The majority, more than two-thirds, of those interned were U.S.-born citizens, end quote. The following clip is of television actor George Takai discussing his experiences in an American internment camp. internment camp. Japanese Americans on the West Coast were summarily rounded up and uh, sent into uh, 10 surnamed Huang who works for the finance department of the Rangtang government end quote. 22 Tibetans have self-immolated within the last year as a response to the martial law imposed on Tibetan communications for some in the region in an effort to control the individuals who live free. Some students at McGill University in Quebec occupied the sixth floor of an administration building. Despite threats of disciplinary action by the administration and foiled attempts to get food up to the protesters, the peaceful protest lasted five days. McGill University's website had this to say, McGill is a private university founded in 1821. It is presently supported in the same way as the public universities in Quebec. For ...to control the individuals who live free. Some students... There's no question in this reporter's
There's no question in this reporter's mind as to whether or not this is public or private property when it's funded by force by taxpayers. Now, Agent Tally TV reports for a segment called This Week in History. Colorlines.com reminds us that last Sunday marked the 70th anniversary of President Franklin Roosevelt's signing of Executive Order 9066, which led to the forced internment of more than 120,000 Japanese Americans. Harbor. In the wake of the attack, Japanese Americans were immediately cast as threats too dangerous to be allowed to live freely. The article continued, quote, the U.S. citing national security interests demanded that Japanese Americans be interned without due process or it would eventually turn out any factual basis. Whole communities were rounded up and sent to camps. Any factual basis. Whole communities were rounded up and sent to camps sometimes just clapboard shelters or converted horse stables in arid deserts and barren fields in Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, or Arkansas. Whole communities were rounded up and sent to camps, sometimes just clapboard shelters or converted horse stables in arid deserts and barren fields in Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, or Arkansas. Any state away from the coast where Japanese Americans could theoretically consort with others who might again harm the U.S. Horse stables and arid deserts. Families were forced to abandon their businesses, communities, property, and homes. Some families were separated and interned separately. Some were given just 48 hours to pack up and leave their homes. Some were given just 48 hours to pack up and leave their home. horse stables and arid deserts. Families were forced to abandon their businesses, communities, property, and homes. Some families were separated and interned separately. Some were given just 48 hours to pack up and leave their homes. Some were given just and interned separately. Some were given just 48 hours to pack up and leave their homes. The majority, more than two-thirds, of those interned were U.S.-born citizens, end quote. The following clip is of television actor, end quote. The following clip is of television actor George Takai discussing his experiences in an American internment camp. Japanese Americans on the West Coast were summarily rounded up and uh, sent into uh, 10 barbed wire internment camps, but I still do remember that day. I still I still I still an American internment camp. But I still do remember that day uh, when uh, Armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets. Day uh, when uh, armed soldiers. Day uh, when uh, when. Uh, when armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. I remember that as.
um, a horse stable where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built. And uh, when the camp was built, we were put on a train and taken to the swamps of Arkansas. And then we were transferred from that camp to another camp in Northern California, which was an even more uh, harsh uh, For pictures, videos, and more on these stories, Google FR33 or visit this episode. On Sunday evening, unquote. The AFP reported Monday that, quote, an official surnamed Huang who works for the who lived along the West Coast, quote, the order came after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. In the wake of the attack, Japanese Americans were immediately cast as threats too dangerous to be allowed to live freely. Colorlines.com reminds us that last Sunday marked the 70th anniversary of President Franklin Roosevelt's signing of Executive Order 9066, which led to the forced internment of more than 120,000 Japanese Americans who lived along the West Coast. Quote, the order came out of these Americans. Quote, the order The order came after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Harbor. In the wake of the attack, Japanese of the attack, Japanese Americans were immediately cast as threats too dangerous to be allowed to live freely. The article continued, quote, The U.S. citing national security the article continued, quote, The U.S. citing national security interests demanded that Japanese Americans be interned without due process or it would eventually turn out any factual basis. Whole communities were rounded up. The U.S. citing national security interests demanded that Japanese Americans be interned without due process or it would eventually turn out any factual basis. Whole communities were rounded up and sent to camp or 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 whole communities due process. Whole communities were rounded up and sent to camps, sometimes just clapboard shelters or converted horse stables in arid deserts. up and sent to camps. Families were forced to abandon their families were forced to abandon their businesses, communities, property, and homes. abandon their businesses, communities, property, and homes. Some families were separated and interned separately. Some were given just 48 hours of their homes. The majority, more than two-thirds, of those interned were U.S.-born citizens." End quote. The following clip is of television actor George Takai discussing his experiences in an American internment camp. But I still do remember that day uh, when armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, and now a five-minute update on the peaceful evolution happening around the globe.
I'm Agent Derek J. You're listening to Free Agents Radio News. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2012. Top story today, over 1,000 Tibetans protest Sunday, and the government denies it happened. But first, a message that's important for all of us. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom because of these Americans. Quote, the order came after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. In the wake of the attack, Japanese Americans were immediately cast as threats too dangerous to be allowed to live freely. The article continued, quote, The U.S. citing national security interests demanded security interest. In ...to live freely. Families were forced to abandon their businesses, communities, property, and homes. Some families were separated and interned separately. Some were given... For pictures, videos, and more on these stories, Google FR33 or visit this episode's page at fr33agents.com slash 2-22-2012. For pictures, videos... history in that for pictures video there's a um a dark chapter of America. um yes there's a a dark chapter of american history in that In that. For pictures, videos, and more on the uh, three levels of barbed wire fence and three barbed wire, three levels of barbed wire fence and tanks. Marsh uh, camp. There were three barbed wire. Three and even more uh, harsh uh, camp. There were three barbed wire. A harsh uh, camp. There were three. Uh, or, uh, harsh. An even more uh, harsh camp. There were three barbed wire, three levels of barbed wire fence and tanks patrolling. There were three barbed. Three levels of barbed wire fence, and there were three three levels of barbed wire fence and tanks patrolling the peri uh, perimeter. Yes, there's a, peri a perimeter. Yes, tanks patrolling the perimeter. Yes, there's a a dark chapter of American history in that. For pictures, videos, and more on these stories, go the forced internment of more than 120,000 Japanese Americans. Quote, the order came after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. In the wake of the attack, Japanese Americans were immediately cast as threats too dangerous to be allowed to live freely. Families were forced to abandon their businesses, communities, property, and homes. Some families were separated and interned separately. Some were given just 48 hours to pack up and leave their homes. The majority, more than two-thirds, of those interned were U.S. born citizens. End quote. The following clip is of television actor George Takai discussing his experiences in an American internment camp. Were U.S. born citizens. and homes. Some families were separated and interned separately. Some were given just 48 hours to pack up and leave their homes. Separately, the majority, more than two-thirds, of those interned were U.S.-born citizens.
or U.S.-born citizens. The following clip is of television actor George Takai be allowed to live freely. Families were forced to abandon their businesses, communities, property, and homes. Some families were separated and interned separately. The majority, more than two-thirds, of those interned were U.S.-born citizens. More than two-thirds of The majority of those interned were U.S. of those in majority of those in the majority of those interned were U.S. The majority of those interned were U.S. born citizens. The following clip is of television actor George Takai discussing his experiences in an American internment camp. I still do remember that day when armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. Armed soldiers, soldiers with guns. American internment camp. Armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. By taxpayers. Called This Week in History. By force, when it's fun, and as to whether or not this is public or private property, when it's funded by force by taxpayers. Now, Agent Tally TV, and as to whether or not this is public, himself a light Sunday in Sichuan Province's Rangtang County. End quote. Sunday in Sichuan Province's Rangtang County. End quote. Dot com. And now, a five-minute update on the peaceful evolution happening around the globe. I'm Agent Derek J. You're listening to Free Agents Radio News. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2012. Top story today, over 1,000 Tibetans protest Sunday, and the government denies it happened. But first, a message that's important for all of us. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom. Become a free agent and take it back. Google FR33 to get connected with other men and women around the globe who are united against state aggression and who are committed to not violent revolution, but peaceful evolution. It costs nothing to rally others to your causes by starting websites, creating and joining groups, and more. Stay up to date on the global movement for liberty by reading, watching, and listening to reports from our growing network of free agents. 
Free agents who work to achieve a free society can receive points for various activities which can be redeemed for gear, such as clothing, cameras, and more. When defending yourself against the state, be equipped.com. Now for the news. The international campaign for Tibet said Monday that, quote, the 18-year-old monk, identified as Nang Drol, set himself alight Sunday in Sichuan province's Rangtang County, end quote. The international campaign for Tibet said Monday, quote, monks did not comply with a segment called This Week in History. Colorlines.com reminds us that last Sunday marked the 70th anniversary of President Franklin armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to North and South. I remember that as a very scary day. And we were taken from our home. Executive yeah, order not. Then- FreeAgents.com. That's F R. Armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets, armed came soldiers, to our home soldiers with guns, armed soldiers. Arm, arm, so, 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 got, got, bayonet, bayonet, so, came to our came home, to our home, home. south, south. I remember that, that, that's a very a scary, scary. scary. And we were taking, we were taking. Arm, arm. Arm, soldiers, soldiers with the guns. Hey. Arm, soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them. Armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. Internment camp. Armed soldiers, soldiers with guns, bayonets on them, came to our home to order us out. I remember that as a very scary day. And we were taken from our home to um, a horse table where we were housed for a few months uh, while the camps were being built. And uh, when the camp was built, we were put on a train and taken to the swamps of Arkansas. 
and then we were transferred from that camp to another camp in Northern California, which was an even more uh, harsh camp. There were three, three levels of barbed wire fence and tanks patrolling the perimeter. Yes, there's a, a dark chapter of American history. And now, a five-minute update on the peaceful evolution happening around the globe. I'm Agent Derek J. You're listening to Free Agents Radio News. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2012. Top story today, over 1,000 Tibetans. And now, a five-minute update on the peaceful evolution happening around the globe. I'm Agent Derek J. You're listening to Free Agents Radio News. 